I'm adding one zucchini to my blender along with one cup of oats, one egg. We're making healthy zucchini brownies. Next, I'm adding in a fourth cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened for that chocolatey flavor. This is the one I'm using, so just make sure that it's unsweetened. Now you're gonna add one fourth cup of granulated sweetener. I'm using a fourth cup of coconut sugar. If you have not heard of coconut sugar, it's just a less refined sweetener. You could also use monk fruit if you wanna keep it completely sugar free. And then last but not least, I'm adding in two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. You could also use something like avocado oil or maybe even uh, olive oil. So I'm just gonna take the top to my blender and I'll grab my handy dandy blender here and we're just gonna blend this until smooth. No one would ever guess that these actually have a hidden vegetable in them. So we're gonna blend this until smooth. All right, this looks nice and smooth. So let's see what it looks like. So we have our zucchini brownie batter. So I'm making a half batch. So we are just using a loaf pan that I lined with parchment paper. If you wanted to make a full batch, you can just double the recipe and use a regular brownie pan. So we're gonna transfer the batter into our loaf pan. Now I'm just gonna gently spread this so that it's evenly distributed throughout our dish. This smells so good. So I'm excited to try these out. And for our last step, I'm just gonna top it with some chocolate chips because you can never have too much chocolate, right? All right, this looks good. My oven is preheated at 350 and these are gonna bake for probably around 30 minutes. So we will let them bake, let them cool, and then do a taste test and see what these healthy zucchini brownies actually taste like. All right, into the oven at 350. All right, it's been about 28 minutes and we're gonna take our zucchini brownies out of the oven. They smell so good. I always say one of my favorite things to do on anything chocolate or really anything sweet is add some flaky sea salt. So I'm just gonna add some salt on top. It just really brings out the chocolate flavor. And I also think that it looks good. So we'll, go, we'll let these cool before trying them out, but I cannot wait. I have high hopes. Okay, it's time to slice into these zucchini brownies. So I'm gonna do one slice down the center. Okay, which is your favorite brownie piece? I personally love the corners. Look at how fudgy they look. So I cannot wait to try these out. You would have no idea there's zucchini in them by looking at them. So let's give them a taste and see if it's the same taste wise. Okay, the texture is spot on, absolutely perfect. The only thing I would do next time is add a little bit more sweetener or more chocolate chips. These just need a little bit more sweetness in my opinion. If you don't like your dessert super sweet, leave it as is. But next time I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra sweetener.